This video is part of a larger story about how magnets affect smartphones, especially when mounting a phone in your car with magnets. Be sure to check out that article for the rest of the story. Here, we'll share some of the testing we did to see how magnets actually affect current smartphones and mapping apps. Here is an iPhone 7 using Google Maps. Maps has two main modes of operation. The opening mode shows your location with a blue dot. And the other mode is when it's actively giving you driving directions. Here, the blue dot shows your position. There's also a blue direction indicator that looks like the beam of a headlight. This tells you which way you're facing on the map. It's a little fuzzy stuff points where you're going and how sure Google is. So if I turn to the right, it points to that road. If I turn to the left, it points to this one. This is just me standing in the parking lot, rotating around. In directions mode, the headlight indicator goes away. There's some indication of direction, but it doesn't seem to work as well as the headlight did. Turn the phone left and right, and it wobbles around, seemingly unsure of which way it's facing. Sometimes, it rotates the map view around even when the phone is sitting still. And it's kind of pointing the right way. If I turn, is that right? Oh, it's a little confused. It's confused. Uh, what did you do? Nothing, I just started driving directions. Oh, okay. Now that's right. Yeah, does your, does your phone do like walking directions too, like if you hit? Okay, that, now, well, that's too much. Yeah, we'll try walking directions too. But this is wrong. It's not going back. But if I start walking, In directions mode, it seems like the direction it depicts depends on the velocity vector, which way the phone is moving. If we turn the phone left and right, it gets confused. If we simply walk down the street at a brisk pace, it quickly corrects and assumes that the direction we're walking is the direction we're facing. Maybe that's not 100% true during our walking experiment, but it works brilliantly when driving. Apple Maps has a similar setup but they use a tiny triangular arrow to show direction instead of the headlight. Now if I turn to that road, it's right. And that road, that's pretty good. Directions, go. Starting route to Wawa. The graphics on their directions mode is a little different than Google Maps, but it seems to act about the same. The direction it shows you facing is your direction of travel. When you're sitting still, it can be a bit confused. It was a little confused at first, but now it seems to, uh, maybe, no, it's, it's confused. Let's start walking towards that one. And that corrects it. And we'll make a right, walking. And it's correct. Hold still, it gets all confused. Which way am I facing? Google Maps, running on Android, has a few minor differences, but exhibits similar overall functionality. It acts kind of the same way. Yeah, it looks like it's staying pretty calibrated. If I start walking... Now if you walk, keep going that way, and while you're walking, point the thing 90 degrees right. All right, and I am pointing 90 degrees right while I'm still walking the same direction, and it's, I think it's showing that it's pointing the correct way towards yeah. apple, apple butter. Right yeah, and if I turn it around and walk backwards, yeah, so. Still good? Yeah. So what if we stick a strong magnet near the phone? So here's the magnet. Doesn't seem to be changing things. Mm -hmm. oh, face over there. This is still Apple Maps, right? No, this is back to Google. Oh, back to Google. Yeah. So I'm holding a magnet in my hand, and it, it doesn't seem to be messing it up. Hmm. With a magnetometer app, we can see the strength and direction of the Earth's magnetic field. Here in eastern Pennsylvania, it's about 50 micro Tesla, half a gauss, pointing steeply down. And of course, looking at just the magnetic field, when I bring this magnet in, 
it changes the direction of the field and it makes the strength much stronger, way stronger. So I'm gonna take this and stick it on the back of this rubber band. And instead of 50 micro Tesla, it's kind of like, you wanna stick it in there? Yeah. Oh. When a magnet is stuck on the back of the phone, the strength and direction change a lot. How much it changes depends on how close the magnet gets to the actual sensor, buried somewhere inside the phone. With a magnet strapped to the back, the phone's magnetometer sees the sum of the field from the magnet and from the Earth's magnetic field. The magnet's taped to the back, iPhone 7, Google Maps. But Google Maps is not confused about which way it's facing. Still shows it right. This might be okay. Kind of knows which way I'm facing. No, I'm kind of not. I think this crazy behavior is more interesting even without the magnet. But yeah. but once I start moving, it goes. Oh, you're facing that way. Make it right. Oh, now you're facing that way. It's like your velocity vector it knows. Google Maps works surprisingly well. How about Apple Maps? Here we are. Ooh, look at that. Apple Maps has no direction indicator. Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's wrong. <laughs> That's, the... That's the, their little arrow. Hmm. It's not quite right. With the magnet in place, Apple Maps well, initially kind of thought the phone was facing in some other direction. Yeah, that should be pointing that After moving the phone in a figure eight direction That's a few times that. though, it recalibrated and was then correct. Calibrate with this setup with that magnet to the back. Oh, look at that, it's right. How about Google Maps on Android? Android behaved similar to our Apple tests. One interesting observation was how it widened the beam of the headlight indicator when it wasn't so sure about which way it was facing. Place a magnet near the phone and the beam widens to indicate its uncertainty. Do a figure eight calibration movement and the beam narrows down once again. Uh, let me just do this first. So it's, it's still getting the general direction right, it's just not as sure, I guess. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna do the figure eight now. Magic touch. <sighs> Guardian Livia. Senior. <laughs> yeah. Senior figure eight engineer. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's getting a lot better. Yeah. And that's right. Look, that's the road. Yep. And that's the other road. Yeah. Oh, that's totally on. Be sure to see our blog article to learn a bit more about this interesting topic. And in the meantime, drive safe.